My name is Paul Inigeth. I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Phoenix. Right here tonight, we're with the uh, Skywarn program. Skywarn program is the eyes for the National Weather Service on the ground. With all the great technology that we have in the office, such as satellite and radar, it doesn't allow us to truly see what's happening at the ground. And that's where the Skywarn spotters come in. Folks across the county, across the city, and across the state can serve as our eyes on the ground to let, alert the National Weather Service and let us know what's going on. We may see on our radar that a storm looks severe, is possibly producing damaging winds, large hail, possibly even a tornado, but we don't truly know what's happening at the ground. Our Skywarn spotters can call our office and let us know what exactly is happening. It's an invaluable service for us. We offer training mainly in the spring to cover these hazards. The training that we provide goes over what hazards we're looking for specifically, such as what size hail, what kind of winds we're looking for, tornadoes, et cetera. And we go over the specifics of what those are, what are the signs to look for, and kind of some general uh, weather safety uh, that goes along with living in Arizona. The big weather that we, uh, we get a lot here uh, is uh, hail, damaging winds, and also flash flooding, heavy rainfall. On a rare occasion, we'll get a tornado. Our Skywarn program that we have in Arizona is quite active. When we have severe weather ongoing, we do get a high number of reports. Sometimes for big weather events, it can be on the order of 100, maybe upwards of 200 through a, through a night. So we are getting a lot of these reports coming in. So people that are taking the training are participating and letting us know when this severe weather is occurring at the ground. Our attendance can vary quite a bit. Sometimes we'll have as few as five or 10 people. Sometimes we'll have 100 people filling up a room. It can vary quite a bit. We'll see people from all different walks of life. A lot of people are just average uh, John and Jane public out there that come in. We have emergency folks that come in, first responders that get the training as well. So it's pretty a wide breadth of uh, America that comes in for this training. We came to the Storm Spotters class because we wanted to learn about how to track storms and figure out what the different clouds in the sky mean. Just want to do our civic duty. Been interested in weather. I wanted to always be a meteorologist, but wasn't good in math and physics, so I figured this is what I can do to help out. My name is Marshall McFarland. I live in uh, Queen Creek and uh, decided to come out to the training tonight just to uh, be a good citizen. It's interesting stuff. The, uh, the class is well presented and very informative. You know, I have a general interest in weather, and in my uh, in my career, I'm, I'm responsible for emergency planning, so I have a professional interest as well.